from Channel 2 News, this is Breaking News. Good evening, everyone. We continue to cover breaking news from the Discovery Museum in downtown Reno that we first told you about at 5 o'clock. I'm Kristen Remington. I'm Wendy DeMonte. Emergency crews responded to an incident at the Discovery Museum just after 4 o'clock this afternoon. That's where Ariana Bennett joins us live. Okay, Ari, what is the latest? Well, the scene has cleared out considerably compared to what it was at 5 o'clock today. Now, we have confirmed with Fire Chief Michael Hernandez that there were 13 people injured when there was some sort of chemical reaction in the Discovery Museum earlier today. There were nine people transported to Renown Regional Medical Center. Eight of those were children, one adult, and then there were four people who were treated um, on scene and did not want to be transported. Now, they told us that what happened was there was some sort of demonstration that had to do with the science behind tornado and there was some kind of malfunction. There was a chemical reaction that caused a flash, and that flash did injure those people. They weren't able to tell us how many people were present for the demonstration, but they did tell us they do demonstrations like this on a weekly basis. It's a very, very common thing. I spoke to the museum officials earlier. They said they're really just dismayed about this whole thing. Surprised it's the first time they've ever had an issue with it. We spoke to them, and here's what they had to say. Safety is always key with everything that we do. We obviously want to provide an engaging experience, but we want it to be totally safe. So what is your reaction to what happened today? I'm just um, not sure what to think, but we're going to figure out what happened and how to make it, just make sure it doesn't happen again. Now, the museum was evacuated while all of this was going on. They sent a hazmat team in to check to make sure the air quality was okay, that it hadn't been contaminated by this chemical reaction. And now they had closed Center Street before. It is back open to traffic tonight. Of course, we'll bring you any more information as we get it. Um, and, of course, we'll have an update for you coming up tonight on Channel 2 News at 11. Covering the story live, Ariana Bennett, Channel 2 News.